cooking at Guido's. Waiting for Juanito to come. Yeah. If you're curious about how to make this, here we go. This is how I'm gonna make the Alfredo sauce. I'm gonna saute these onions with the garlic. Pasta water is also an ingredient for the Alfredo sauce. Coconut oil, saute them onions and garlic. I got my tripod, the little one, so I have to use my hand. I forgot it at home. I'm breaking these onions apart so I can add the garlic. Everything's going. I'm going to now add like a shit ton of garlic. Because I like it. good. Our seasoning. Now, I usually kill people with spicy, but I'm going to take it easy on them. He's scared of this. I'm waiting for the pasta to finish boiling because I need the water for the sauce. So let's start hydrating these things. In both bags in there. Then I will put some oil in the water along with some other stuff. A bit of olive oil, about that much. I would usually use, I can't believe it's not butter, it's vegan, but I forgot to get some. Try to submerge these. Oh, they smell like lobster and everything. Wait, they get this weird chewy texture like lobster and sometimes I save the butter to use it later but up to you you can use it for broth if you want and then you can start cutting them down if they're too big for you but they do have a really good lobster texture and taste long ass noodles when I make it for the kids I break the noodles and this is how we'll season it to the blender. Half a cup. Other half. Cashews. See, I buy them already made because it's kind of boring soaking cashews. <laughs> Inside. And then we add some of this Parmesan. Hey, we love some nutritional yeast. I find this in almost every vegan recipe. I have a cup. I put a lot. I love this stuff. Yeah, what the hell? Half a cup of this, too. Yes, Lord. Let's drain this. Blend it. Scissors like these, cut them up. Sorry, I don't have anybody to help with the camera. <laughs> then I drain the juice in here. You can save it for broth, it's really good. Broth. Back on a very, very low. And I'm gonna crush up maybe about five or six of these seaweed uh, papers. I'm just gonna mix them around. With the crushed seaweed paper, if I can get this pan to stop spinning. It tastes okay, but I'm gonna add just a teeny more obey. Uh, almost forgot these babies. This doesn't take long. We can like saute these for like 30 seconds and they're done. Now these will go while I'm getting the pasta back to the so. uh, These I let them simmer with the sauce. And Make sure you wash these off. Added coconut oil, and now I'm gonna combine it. Lord. Let them 
chase this off. She's all excited. And we are done. The parsley and parmesan you can add on the top. I like to do that. So now you can use the parsley or cilantro. I got cilantro, parmesan cheese to put on top. This is my first cooking video, so I hope you all liked it. Let's see what these guys think. Alrighty. Juanito, Guido, trying this vegan dish. Really good.